and put it as close as I can to all the vertices here and just gonna press X to delete away the uh, vertices alright because my occlude background geometry button is on it only deletes away the visible vertices so I'm gonna do the operation again so sometimes you must remember to turn this off so you delete the vertices behind so one more time and you delete with the vertices so now I got exactly half now you might wonder why I want to do half because later I'm going to use the mirror operation okay to duplicate it okay it seems I have accidentally deleted the faces here I'm just going to go un uh, undo a couple of steps okay gonna these like this okay now I'm going to delete half of this again Right, press X to delete the vertices. Okay, good. Alright, so now let's go to the front view. And I'm gonna switch to face mode. Press BB, B twice to go to brush selection mode. You can roll your mouse to change the size. And I'm just gonna select the faces of the bishop piece. Oops. Okay, until all the faces are selected. And I'm just gonna delete it away. Delete away the faces. And you see that oh now we have a gaping hole here. So I'm gonna switch over the vertices. Okay, there's one face here I did not delete. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And then I'm gonna switch over to vertices mode. Okay, for places like these where you have like four or more vertices, you can collapse all these vertices together. So I'm gonna hit B, select all these vertices, and merge them together. So Alt M, merge that at the center. So you can sometimes do some cleaner like this one as well. Oops. Let me undo that. I need to deselect those vertices. And yeah, okay. And what about this one? I think we can collapse these guys together. Uh, A to deselect first. And oh, and okay. Alright, so now we got this nice looking slot. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and right mouse click to select, holding down the Shift to continuously select the edge that runs down here. So holding down the Shift, then plus Alt. Okay, and the last one, holding down the Shift and select these. Okay, so now the entire edge here is selected. I can press Control tab uh, switch it over to edges and I can press E to extrude these edges. Now I right mouse click so the edges jump back in. I can press G uh, and G to move and then along the Y axis and then drag it over here. And I'm gonna press scale along the Y axis to zero. Press enter. Now I'm just going to press G to move and move it back to the center here. Okay, so you can see the couple of vertices here. They are very very close together. We can just again G move along the Y axis and drag it until it falls on top of each other here. Press A to deselect. I'm gonna grab these group of vertices and I'm gonna fuse them together. And likewise for this one. Okay, so right now it doesn't really look like a chest pain. In fact it, it looks kind of ugly. 
Alright, so now we got half the, the, the bishop done. We're going to apply a mirror to mirror it. So I'm going to um, add a modifier, mirror modifier. And instead of the x axis, I'm going to mirror along the y axis. Alright, so now it looks pretty okay. But this area looks pretty bad. So how do we fix that? Now, one of the best modifiers I've discovered is this edge split. Now, if we turn on this edge split, now you can see our bishop is done. Alright, you can apply this to make it permanent. Now, if, if your shading still doesn't look right, you might want to change the, the angle value, the split angle value. So, I'm going to change this maybe to about 60 degrees. Alright, so yeah, essentially that's it. So, once you're happy with this, just hit uh, apply the mirror. Okay, so let me undo that for a short while. Now, if your two halves right are not merging properly, you might want to increase the merge limit just a little bit, and then you apply. All right, then finally you apply the edge split modifier, and essentially that's it. This is how you create your bishop, and the slot looks pretty all right and the mesh is looks reason reasonably okay and sometimes boolean operations doesn't work that well and I feel you you have to model the slot or whatever booleans onto your model directly and this is how you model a bishop using a bishop chess piece in blender hope you enjoyed this video and I Hope that you try it out.